Cut mortises in a thunderstorm. I don't know why we can't sharpen a draw knife in a thunderstorm besides. Aaron wanted to see how we did this. And so we gotta we gotta get it done. Hopefully it won't move in too much. It's just right over the hill right there, but I think we're alright. So with the draw knife sharpening, um what I do is I just get a five gallon bucket, I've got a sharpening puck. Um, you know this is a frost I can't remember the name of this puck but you can find them on the internet they've got a coarse side and a fine side um, a lot of guys use a puck like this for sharpening axes this is in the, the exact puck that most everyone uses um, but basically you just dunk it in the water use water to as a lubricant and you're just riding the bevel And you're listening to the stone you can hear when the stones on the bevel see right there it's not on the bevel it grinds more so you listen to the stone and if you listen to the stone you can tell you're on the bevel A lot of guys sharpen draw knives this way, and I would suspect a lot of guys do it this way because it works good. And you're using circular motions, riding the bevel. It takes a little bit of time to get the hang of it. And there's certainly faster ways to sharpen your draw knife, for sure. Um, but it's relaxing, and it, this draw knife, in particular, I found at an auction, and so it's taken me a while to to get the bevel shaped up. then when you get it to where you want you know you switch over to the cool fine side and polish the edge as far as the back goes you know the back's concave so it's it's deeper in the center here than it is on the back and on the edge and some guys try and get that back completely flat I usually don't I'm usually just riding on this bottom edge right here and I'm trying to make sure that this is flat a decent ways back from the edge so I can count on it when I sharpen the front side of the bevel same thing we're just doing circular motions trying to get trying to get the first you know half inch or so flat you're gonna you're gonna start hitting the back as well, but that's fine. Just trying to get snorty on us here a little bit, but I always gotta keep one eye to the sky around here. Maybe we should go take a look at what's coming at us. He's just letting us know she's around. I think we'll be all right. Well, guys, that's how you sharpen your draw knife in a thunderstorm. Seems like we do a lot of that around here. Um, but basically, you're just taking your stone and you're just riding that bevel in circular motions, and you check the back as well. 
Um, these stones are pretty easy to find on the internet. You can find them on Amazon, pretty simple. See if you can't find that. This four, it's a 200 and 400 grit, I believe. The fine grit on this stone is a little bit finer. So I like to use that one. Um, but it's pretty simple. A lot of people don't really know how to sharpen these just because you know, it's kind of a long blade and you know, how do you write it on the stone and how do you do that correctly? Well, a bucket of water and a puck works pretty great. So just a short little one tonight to show you guys uh, how to do that. We have to tune this up because we got to more than likely make some pegs for this barn. I'm having some trouble with my brace stock. Um, it all turned into pretzels. Sitting in the sun, I got two braces cut out of it. One brace is suspect, and I looked at the rest of the brace stock, and it's kind of kind of scary, actually. So we may have to locate some more 4x6s for braces. Um, so that might set us back a little bit. Maybe not, because we still have to cut the other posts and the other tie beams, so it might work out all right. Um, but hopefully that other brace I cut, it's a little twisted, and hopefully it'll work. Um, but we'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, now you know how to sharpen your draw knife. Get one of these. They work great. We'll see you guys next time.